Hello everyone and welcome to the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum where so many great events have unfolded over the years and today this crowd is charged up for a big USC Trojans home game. Today, two teams from the even bigger Big Ten clash, a conference that now stretches from the Atlantic all the way to the Pacific. This will be a good one as we're going to see the Nebraska Cornhuskers taking on the 25th ranked team, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. And the Trojans will kick this away and start us off. Turner looking to create better field position. Tackle at the 13, not great field position to start the drive. So Nebraska's offense begins backed up here thanks to that poor return. And as this quarterback takes the field, eager to see how he plays today, there's a certain gravity about him. You can tell from the warm-up song the way the team responds and rallies around him. Can he come through on a big stage here? Yeah, this guy is their Superman. And when that opening kickoff is kicked up into the air, his cape goes on. He sets everything into place, gets the offense out of jams, does it in pressure situations. He's the arms and legs of this offensive system, but also the heart of this team. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. And they'll go right back to him on first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. What makes a really good counter play is selling it to the defense. So you're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction. But if you don't sell it, you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on. They can come up and make the tackle, just like you saw there. Went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, this is what I'd love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to throw, it's Wyola. Receiver makes the catch. Defense will wrap him up after an eight-yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down. On third downs like this, you can only allow completions in front of you as long as you can protect the sticks. That's what the defense did here. They knew where the sticks were. They're able to make the tackle short of the line. But Cornhuskers will send the punt team onto the field. Bringing you back, it's Branch. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So USC's offense comes out for their first possession today. And with such a dangerous wide receiver on the field here, puts a lot of stress in the secondary. This strong safety Kirk, maybe not necessarily built as a great coverage guy, who's going to have to be big today. Yeah, he really is, Chris. He's known for his physicality. This safety's going to have to do a good job of cleaning up tackles, but also being an extra guy to play keep away. He's good at doing both, but this receiver has great ball skills and the ability to break away with speed. going to be a unique matchup to follow. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun, drops back. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Defense is coming after him. And he cannot escape the defense with a sack. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball, attacked, and got the sack. And the Trojans will bring their punt team on the field now. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. 
They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. When they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run kick, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Second down play coming up. And he's got it again. The pickup is four. He sets up a third and six now. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four or more yards a pop like that. Third down coming up after that running play. Ending off on the draw play. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. The Cornhuskers will have to kick it away when he comes for his second punt of the game. Running it back, it's Branch. Turner, one down, sets up the next drive. And the USC offense is back out on the field. We're coming off a quick three and out, so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. That's a first down for USC's offense. Nice job up front and an outstanding run here by this running back. What great tradition that USC has in running the football and having great backs. And it's beautiful to see another good one here today. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? They'll feed the back again. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Second down after that previous play. An inside give now from the shotgun. A quick shoot. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The Trojans have first and ten here. He'll hand it off. And they'll stop him after a short game. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll hand it off. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. And the back now goes in motion. Looking to throw. It's Moss. Tries to avoid the rush and just gets rid of it. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. No kick it away here. Punt goes out of bounds. Looks like they'll spot it near the 15. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Finds his man. It's Fidone. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. 
Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Lofting it toward the left sideline. And the downfield shot is incomplete. Brings up third down. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. They'll give it to the back. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. And the Huskers will have to kick this away. On the return, it's Branch. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. They were forced to put it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. And here's the handoff. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that run on the previous play. He hands it to the back. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. The defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Offense facing a third and short from the 41. Can they make the first down and avoid a tricky fourth down decision? Dropping back, it's Moss. Short pass finds the tight end. He has first down yardage at the 46. A new set of downs after that completion. Play action here on first down. Pulls it in. It's Branch. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Boy, Chris, great timing here with the quarterback against that zone defense, waiting just at the right time to deliver it into that window to pick up a nice game. Second down after that completion. Ball is handed off out of the shotgun. He stopped, but he gets a first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. But a huge collision blow delivered there by the linebacker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. We come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. A loss of seven yards on the play. Offense
So, Kirk, we reached the end of one. So far, a defensive stalemate here in the early stats illustrating the story. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. And the punt lands out of bounds. Let's see exactly where they'll spot it here. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark inches away. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. The Huskers churn out another first down. Boy, Chris, this back is so talented. He picks up another first down. The Nebraska faithful love to see the ball in his hands, just like they love to see the backs over the years. Think about T.O., Tom Osborne, when he had the backs going, Mike Rozier and Lawrence Phillips and Amon Green, Roger Craig going way back. More recently, Amir Abdullah, Rex Burkett. Boy, oh boy, they've had some fun backs to watch. And the runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Here's the second down play. They'll test the right side here. Breaking free at midfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, the big fellows, Kirk, flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But the back just had nowhere to go. How about the defensive line? They eat up all the blocks up front, freeing those linebackers up to be able to make the play. Just a bad play all around for this offense. Offense getting set. It's second down. They're going to run it. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. I've been always impressed with defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. And he'll drop back here on third down. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. I felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. Well, the Cornhuskers will send their one team on the field. Was hoping that would check up, but a big bound sends it into the end zone for a touchback. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Hat on a hat up front. Good job opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Back behind the quarterback, a line in the pistol. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. It's a fumble! Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. I get being upset at the ball care for coughing up the ball, but let's not ignore how big of a hit that was. Sometimes you just have to give credit to the defender for making a great play. The offense, excellent field position to start this drive.
On first down, it's play action. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown, Nebraska. His quarterback on fire today. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Now they get set to kick it away. And here's the return from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the USC offense is back out on the field. Last possession, they bumbled it away and it set up a touchdown drive. And they bounce back from that right away. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he's got his man. Caught wide open in stride. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Southern California. Chris, how dangerous is this offense? Of course, you know about the receivers, those vertical shots, but here's an example. You get the ball, the running back out in space, takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. And now the try here for the extra point. And there's the point after. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it's fielded. Returner trying to make something happen. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? And now the handoff. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. It gave them a chance at a really nice game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They're going to run it here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. They'll try to run for the first down. That's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. The Cornhuskers will line up to kick it away. Hunter getting a workout here on for the fifth time today. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. If 
finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Well, I'm a big fan of the RPO, but it is a dangerous play for the quarterback. you got to make the right decision. On this play, it just seemed like he was a little hesitant, unsure, and it cost him here with an incompletion. So second and 10 after the previous play. And on the carry, he's heading left. Fighting him off. Breaking free at the 35. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Boy, a thing of beauty, right, Chris? A USC running back picking up a first down on the ground. And they have so many great backs. And probably as many as anybody when it comes to counting up individual stars. I'm going back to guys like Charles White and Marcus Allen. Both won the Heisman Trophy. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Scanning the field. It's Moss. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see, would anybody come up with it once it was in the air? Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Oh, he misfires again, three in a row. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. This will be a 43-yard attempt. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. Oh, and he dropped it. Might have heard some footsteps there over the middle. That brings up third down. Chris, I don't know, man. I think he gets across the middle. He starts thinking about those linebackers and safeties. Got a little bit nervous. Lost his concentration and drops the ball. They're backed up here trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. He's running out of time here. And the sophomore making an impact play. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. The quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. will line up to put it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. He boots it away from inside his own end zone. With the return, it's Branch. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. They've got the lead, but had to settle for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, help him just at two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. 
The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. To the air, it's Moss. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. I thought the defense was in pretty good position there. They sat back and had good coverage, eyes on the quarterback, but you almost got to just give the quarterback and the receiver credit for being able to come up with that completion. Crucial third down play after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field. And that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. And the Trojans will have to punt this one away. He's on to boot it away now. That punt heading out of bounds, so there'll be no return here. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Picks up two, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a shotgun run call. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. It's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. And he just throws that one away. Took a big shot, but avoids the sack. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The Huskers will bring their punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. Bringing it back, it's Branch. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the USC offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Running back grabs it on the screen. And he never had a chance tackled in the backfield. So the screen on first down is snuffed out nicely, and now they're behind the sticks here. Yeah, the offense tried to fool this defense by going the screen on first down, but give the defense all the credit in the world. They're not fooled at all. Read that perfectly, able to chase that down for a loss. Dropping back, it's Moss. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Works downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. We make the first down. Brought down to the 31. A nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. Throws it to the right. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, USC. Strong game by this quarterback. That's taking advantage of a matchup there, Chris, by the quarterback finding his receiver. He puts the ball up in the air where he can make a play on it. They come up with that touchdown.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team now set to boot this one away. Fields it inside the five yard line. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Looks left and finds his target there. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Less than a yard to go as they come to the line on second down. Back to throw. It's Raiola. Quick throw to his receiver. Makes the catch downfield. The timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. And he's got it. They've got him, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it in about the 27. You know, we talked this week with the offense coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. First down, looking to throw the ball. Fires it to the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. Now that's exactly what you love to see here in this two-minute offense. You come up with a big play, and all of a sudden your mindset gets much more aggressive. You're not thinking just about three points. Maybe take some shots, get the ball into the end zone. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Huskers. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. to try the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. Return begins inside the 10. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. Looks like they'll take a knee in the final play and head to halftime with the lead. Looks like the offense content to run the clock out here and go to halftime. Talk about the second half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Men, we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in L.A. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to watch this one unfold. Back to our guys in the booth. will kick this away to get the second half going. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. Important possession here to begin the third quarter as they try to continue momentum from the first half and build on this lead. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, here's the first play to start this second half, and it's really more the same than what we saw in the first half. 
really no need to make drastic changes. What you were doing in that first half gave you the lead. Just keep working on it. Gabe moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. Makes a quick grab. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. They call the draw play here. A sophomore with a strong tackle there. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. To throw, it's Moss. Cut quickly. He stop him at the 49, but that'll be a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down in this offense. And the Trojans pick up enough yardage for a first down. And the quarterback dropping back. He pulls it in for a big game. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. They're going to pick up a first down. Nice catch, but even a better throw to show the accuracy and efficiency from that quarterback spot. And my gosh, they have so many great quarterbacks over the years that played at USC. Go back to Carson Palmer, the year he won the Heisman. What a brilliant career he had for the men of Troy. Matt Leinart. Think back to those Norm Chow offenses and the championships that Matt Leinart won. And, of course, more recently, Caleb Williams for Lincoln Riley running and throwing and making throws just like that. And the Trojans will come to the line to crank up the tempo. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Caught near the goal line. And he scores. Touchdown, SC. So the offense flexing their group and stretching their lead here in the second half. Yeah, that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. Now the all-important extra point. And the extra point gives him a double-digit lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Return starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop him this time. That's caught. It's Nayer. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Well, here the defense decided to sit back and play zone, and that front didn't do a good job of pressuring the quarterback. He had the time to make the throw, and he put it on target. That completion makes it second and short. There's the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backfield. Looking downfield, it's Raiola. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. It's a good job by the defense here on this third down. And now it's going to bring up a big fourth down play and a decision here for the head coach. The Cornhuskers will bring the punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position.
Running it back. It's Branch. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain of return. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. They had a brilliant touchdown drive last time, mixing the run and the pass. Can they keep that going again? Second down after that run on the previous play. Receiver in motion now. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Nowhere to run. A corral him for no game. It was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first half, but needing this crucial conversion right now. He's looking deep here. The pass is dropped, incomplete, would have had a huge game. Took his eye off the ball. Whoa, you talk about a big hit there. I think this guy holds on to this football at a critical third down if this linebacker doesn't lower the blow. Great timing on that hit to prevent the P.I. call and to get this team to fourth down. And the Trojans bring their punt team onto the field. He'll aim it toward the sideline. Solid punt. And the punt heads out of bounds, taking the dangerous returner out of play here. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Offense will keep it on the ground here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down here. Dropping back, it's Raiola. He's a wide open receiver, complete. They've got him, but not before he makes a first down at the 41. That's the thing with this guy. You've got the ability to flex him out. He shows his versatility and what he can do from that slot position. He could be the quarterback safety blanket. It's a first and 10 play coming up for the offense. It's a run. Running back's got it. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. And there's the handoff. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Third down, the offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Can he get there on the ground? The first down pickup tackled at the 45. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. And the Huskers are looking to keep this drive going. Trying to find some room. It's Johnson. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Of course, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. The quarterback hands this off, and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Getting set. Here's second down. To throw, it's Raiola. It's a quick grab. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. 
Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long, but when you're so far behind the chains, can you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw in this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. Matt will bounce and go out of bounds inside the 10. Great punt to pin the offense back. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. They're going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Looking for the tight end, and it's caught. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. To throw, it's Moss. Bringing pressure. Nowhere to go. The ball knocked loose. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. Oh, what a play by this defense. Trailing in the second half. Really, the only way you can get back into this game is create turnovers. Ball's on the ground, they pounce on it, and they get the ball back to their own offense. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. No run it. Hand it off to the running back. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Second down and goal. Tailback tests the middle of the defense. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Nice job by this defense on that second down. So we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. Has his incomplete, but a penalty marker on the play. That's that should that's result that's in that's a first down. That playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield when you get a call like this. Here comes some more big bodies after the defense. Trying to find the end zone off the right side. Defense flexing to stop him again at the one-yard line. That will be third down. Well, at this stage of the game, this offense is clearly thinking it's four-down territory. They need points on the board, and they need it in a hurry. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. Ball carrier wrapped up, brought down. Big decision here on the road for this offense on fourth down. These are the calls that can either suck the energy out of the stadium if it goes in your favor, or it can hype the home crowd up that much more and give them momentum if you're stopped. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. They'll set up on the left hash mark, so something of a tricky angle. And that one is no good. There's a penalty marker down. You might get a second shot at this. 
a costly special teams penalty. And here comes the offense back on the field. Dropping back, it's Wyola. The pass rush closing in. This one sails through the back of the end zone and incomplete. Second down and goal. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Let's check out this running back comparison. These guys have been excellent, pounding away and seemingly only getting stronger. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. They need a touchdown here. Down big in the fourth quarter. Third and goal. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. That's a crucial score, Kirk. Makes it a one-possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four-minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. set up for the PAT. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he's tackling at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. They're looking to protect the lead and protect the football. The last possession, remember, ended in a fumble. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Stop at the 43, but that's enough to make a first down. But how about this aggressive approach by this offense? They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and these guys are continuing to throw the football. If the offense coordinator understands that he can't allow his team to get too comfortable or complacent, even with having a lead here in the fourth. And the Trojans looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Gain is two yards, so it's second and eight. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And he's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. But I feel like they call that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Offense facing third and short approaching midfield. Can they convert here or will they face a tough fourth down decision? And he's got his man open downfield. Big gain across midfield. They'll spot it down near the 30. Well, he's been their go-to guy all game long. They needed a big play there on third down. They go his way again, and it works out. And the Trojans pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wideout. He's got it for a big game. The tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. I just continue to be in awe of this offense. Even with the lead, these guys are going to play for 60 minutes. They do not let up. Here they are. Typically, you want to run the football here to work the clock, but these guys stick to the game plan and keep throwing the football, trying to get more yards. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. 
Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. Looking to pass. It's Moss. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. So the offense flexing, Kirk, and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point, up and good. A double-digit lead now here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. We'll give it to the running back. Running with purpose. And the game moves the ball to the 20-yard line. Game makes it second and medium. Back to throw. It's Swayola. The ball is caught. And the defense scores not much of a game on that completion. Well, this is the risk you take when you play man-to-man -man coverage and you leave a linebacker on a running back. The quarterback does a nice job of seeing that mismatch and getting the ball to the back for some good yards. It's third down for the offense. Try and muscle for the first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. My gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zero in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. The Huskers will line up to boot it away. He's on looking for a solid punt here. Fair catch made at the 40. And the Trojans' offense is back out on the field. At the last position, they really had the passing game. They can move right down the field for a touchdown. From the shotgun, handoff inside. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive. Working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can. But the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Offense trying to move into scoring position if they can convert third and short here from the 50. Ball handed to the running back. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. Forced to kick it away for the sixth time. This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. 
The offense gets a second chance of points here after that special team's roughing penalty. And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line and the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call and just keep working that clock. Second down after that run on the previous play. Makes a quick catch. Finding space at the 20. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. Now, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence in what he can do. the Trojans line up with a first and goal. Back in motion now. Looking downfield. It's Moss. Makes the grab on the move. Tackled at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. Boy, they love going to this guy in the slot, don't they? What a mismatch inside. He reels in another one. This guy's automatic. Offense facing second and goal. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Touchdown, Southern California. Still no answer for this offense. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point up and good makes it a three-score game up 17 here in the fourth. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. It's a short completion to the big tight end. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Chris. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. Looking to throw it on first down. Over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, that's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to pass, it's Raiola. Let's it go quickly. Looked over the middle, but it's incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to chuck it again. Close to the tight end. Pass is caught right near the sideline. What a catch does get the foot down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. The Cornhuskers pick up enough yardage to get a first down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. With the catch, it's Nayer. And the game just good enough for a first down. They bring him down, but the freshman quarterback showing off the arm strength. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. 
The Cornhusker starting a new series here on first and ten. Here's the snap, looking to throw. He makes the grab. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, this defense has played well with a letdown there. Not too comfortable with this big lead at the moment, maybe. Yeah, and I, what I love to see is this offense has not given up. This game has not gone the way they had hoped, but here they are taking a few swings late in this game. This one ends up working out, and now let's see if they can put another player or two together and get the points on the board. Heading left after the handoff. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. And the Huskers will hustle to the line here to run the hurry up. To the air, it's Raiola. Looking to the end zone, looking for a touchdown, but it's incomplete. back we're gonna throw for the first down and it's caught touchdown Nebraska that's just been unstoppable today the quarterback finds his favorite receiver for yet another touchdown man that is another touchdown for this guy and what's been very unique is they've moved him around he's the left on the right outside inside also ability to get downfield and make a catch he can catch it underneath just a total package having a dream game Now the important point after attempt. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. Oh, and the onside kick works to perfection. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Chris, I thought he had his hands on that football. I thought he was going to come down with it. But give the defense all the credit with a big hit to knock that ball loose. Important second down play coming up. the incompletion on first down looking to throw it again it's complete what a grab near the sideline heads out of bounds after a solid gain more than enough to pick up a first down hold on a second the replay official has signaled that he wants to have another look at this play and that review confirms the ruling on the field was correct so the play will stand back to pass it's Wyola. fires it to the wideout the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Finally able to take him down, but that's a great return after the pick. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half. And the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. USC offense is back out on the field trying to build on a beautiful balanced touchdown drive last time they had it and they'll just try to run some clock here keeping it on the ground and the senior able to make the stop after a short game that's another good run here by this back you know he's been inside he's been outside at times he's had to be patient showing his vision he now has 97 yards on the ground today a few more carries he's likely going to go over the century mark Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it here. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball, and it's a short game. Chris, this back has had a great day. They're winning the football game. I just looked at my stats. This guy's at 99 yards on the day. You can tell how badly he wants to cross the 100-yard threshold. He's been superb today. 
This is a big third down play coming up. If they can get the stop, you have to believe we'd see a timeout. Going for a big play downfield. That's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Well, he's looking for that deep completion. I love the chunk play. I love the idea of being aggressive. They just come up empty. And the Trojans will line up to punt it away. Little bit too much on the punt. It lands just inside the end zone for a touchback. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. On first and ten, look at the throw. The sure hands. It's Banks. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Second down play coming up for this offense. The quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game, and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. The clock is still running. They've got to get set quickly. Back to pass. It's Wyola. Looking for the wide out. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Well, that's not what you want to see as an offense when you're trailing late in a football game. An incompletion on third down and long. Hey, it's a bit of a risk. With that clock looking the way it looks right now, I think you've got to go for it here and hope to convert on fourth and long. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Quick throw to the left. Throws a fastball, but it's intercepted. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. Boy, the offense just cannot afford to throw this interception. It's already a two-possession game. By throwing this pick, now you wonder how many more opportunities will you get. And here comes the USC offense back on the field. Up by two possessions here. They have a chance to put the game on ice right now. Using his legs, it's O'Neal. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards, sets up a nice second and two. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Ball handed off. Brought down at the three after an excellent running play. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. 